Solving a system of linear equations using elimination with addition. Solve the following system of equations. So to use the elimination method, I need two equations which are in uh, standard form and I need them lined up with x terms uh, on top of x terms, y terms with y terms, and constant terms with constant terms. So the equals are lined up, the x terms, y terms, constant terms, and columns. Then the next thing I'm looking for is I need either the x terms or the y terms, doesn't matter which one, but I need one of those pairs to be exact opposites, meaning one is positive and one is negative, and then they have the same number as their coefficient here, just one is positive and one is negative. So if I look here at my y's, my y's already have that situation set up for me. Um, this is plus one y. We kind of have the implied uh, coefficient of one there and negative one y here. So if you have two um, equations in standard form and you have one set either x's or y's of exact opposites, then you can go ahead and just do column addition straight down. So 2x's minus 5x will give me negative 3x. This plus y minus y, these two eliminate. That's why we call this the elimination method. Then I'm going to add 10 minus 22 is negative 12. Now I'm down to one equation in one variable that I can actually solve. So I'm going to divide out the coefficient of the negative 3 here. And that gives me x equals negative 12 divided by negative 3, which is positive 4. Okay, now I'm only halfway done here. I know what x equals. x equals 4 but I also need to know what y equals. So now I'm going to take this, this x value and plug it into either of my original equations. I'm going to use the top one. So my top equation here was 2x plus y equals 10. And I'm going to replace the x value with 4. So I'm going to have 2 Instead of x, I'm substituting in 4 plus y equals 10. So two, now I'm just going to simplify and solve for this y. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus y equals 10. And then to get the y by itself, I need to subtract off this 8 here. Or 0 out that 8. And I get y equals 2. And I'm done.